Okay. So I have some questions here. Okay. Okay. So the first one, who said I love you first? Me. You did? Mm -hmm. Do you remember how you did it? I do. It was really awkward too. I was all like, so I have something on my mind. It was like at, like, at the library too. I remember I was studying that night, but I was like, so it was just, you know, like, spit it out already. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I love you. Oh, God. I'm so nervous when she says no. I think from how you had been acting that day, I had an idea that you were going to say I love you. Um, so I was like, why is he so nervous to say it? Does he think that I'm not ready to say it back? Because I was. But, yeah, I remember that. Okay. Next question. When did you know that I was the one? All right. I don't know. I, okay, so let me put it off this way. When we first started working together, I was like always like crushing on you. Mm -hmm. But you were at, with some other dude at the time. And I didn't even like that guy. <laughs> he probably knows what yeah. you're talking about. Well, uh, I hope your mixtape's working out for you, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we started like doing these little lunch dates at the University of Memphis where we'd meet up at the cafeteria and just eat together and it's kind of funny we had like psychology sessions or <laughs> remember and um, in any case like I was with one of my buddies and like it'd be myself and my friend and her and her sister and we just have these like conversations every day yeah he's got, what he means by psychology sessions is my sister and I were like giving them the little down on like what girls want and everything because at the time we were friends mm -hmm. and so i'm just like telling him you know like all the, all these perfect things to do and like what we love and mm -hmm. at the time like i didn't realize he was really like Gathering. getting information mm -hmm. <laughs> and like i was pretty much telling him like my perfect guy well, i was collecting pir you know, <laughs> sending it up to higher intel and <laughs> they were all copying it down and we're like, ah, oh, perfect, perfect, good, good, good. Get closer. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, after a few of these, like, we started playing, like, words with friends and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then finally we were like, hey, we should hang out outside of college. Mm -hmm. So I knew that I, I, was, I actually, like, had feelings for you, like, as early as August. That was, like, the first, like, month of the semester, <laughs> too, so... It was pretty quick. I, I knew that she was the one, like, when we were, like, having our little lunch dates. I'd always tell my guy, like, yeah, man, like, she makes me really happy. Like, whenever we talk, and every time we get texts, I'm, like, all giddy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, after a little nervousness, you know, I asked you to be my girlfriend, but... Yeah, I knew like well before October that mm -hmm. I was going to ask you out. Well, I knew that Sean was the one when, again, same situation when we were having those little like lunch dates and talks. Um, it was more of a group thing at the time, but mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know, just listening to some of his conversation, like how he was saying, you know, he would do whatever it took for the person that he loved and all this and that. I was like, oh, this guy is really, really sweet. And then like the more I got to know him, I was like, wow, he may be like the guy for me, but apparently he was thinking the same thing because soon after he asked me out. So mm -hmm. that's how we knew that each other was the one. Next question. Right, next question. Next question. Do we want children? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how many? A hundred divided by ten. So... Ten children. Yeah. I love big families. Me too. So, that'll be fun. Yes. Yeah. Alright. So, some people will probably wonder why I said yes to IHOP. People are always like, you don't seem like the type to 
Say yes to an IHOP date. Too stuck up for me? Is that what people are saying? I guess. About my wife? Excuse you. <laughs> so I said yes to IHOP because of the guy that asked me. Sometimes, you know, it's not about the place, it's about the company. So when Sean asked me out and it was on a day that he was working, he had worked all days, school first, then work, and then he still wanted to see me. I felt like, oh, he's putting in effort, he wants to see me. You know, like he's a really nice guy, so, I, and I like IHOP anyway, so that's why I said yes. It, it was a wonderful date. It was nicer than some of the super nice dates I had been on before that because of the person that I was with. Like, you can take me to the fanciest place in the world, but if if I'm not feeling it, I'm just not feeling it. Yeah. Okay. So, five facts about us. All right, so I'll go first. Okay. Well, I guess we can alternate. Yeah. We'll so, favorite food. Um, my favorite food is chicken tenders. What's yours, Kim? Mm. I gotta go steak. Steak. Mm. Yeah, he loves steak. New okay. York strip. <laughs> favorite thing to do as far as like a hobby. You know, I'm gonna go with shopping. But if I had to pick like a real hobby, I'll go with writing. I like to write. What about you? Favorite uh, thing to do. I'm just gonna play it safe and just say guitar. Play the guitar. Yeah, he's really good at playing the guitar. He played the guitar for me one year for an anniversary and it was so romantic. All right, favorite quality about each other. My favorite quality about you is how fiercely loyal you are. And like, you make it known. Mm -hmm. I do like a, a, a woman that I can spoil and you're awesome to spoil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, hmm. There's so many things I like about you. It's it's hard to just pick one. It's like asking somebody what's your favorite part of a Lamborghini. And it's kind of a weird question because it's like everything. <clears throat> you know? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, um I like actually no. I like how thoughtful you are. You're very creative, very like artistic. So like whenever you surprise me, it's like really well thought out and well planned. Like it always catches me off guard, which, you know, whenever you plan, like whenever you decide to use that ability to prank me, it's always, <laughs> it's always so creative that I don't expect it. So I like that. Okay. So another thing I guess we'll address in this Q and A facts about us before we do our last two facts, before I forget. Mm -hmm. um, so our prank video, Sean did not, he saw the camera, yes, because it's not uncommon for us to vlog in the car. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll always have the camera sitting up there for vlogging in the car. Did he know it was recording him for the prank? No. He probably had an idea, but it wasn't like, that That was a true prank. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, when I finally saw it, y'all probably, like if you watch the video, we probably saw it kind of click in my, it was a pretty dead giveaway, I was like, yeah, I know, right? Like, you can tell the moment when he realizes that the camera is recording. So yeah. before that, all of that was real. Mm -hmm. Like he just said, I randomly will prank him. This is my first time recording it. Mm -hmm. But I've always been, like, somewhat of a jokester. I think that's part of what made him like me early on mm -hmm. in our relationship. I was always, like, just doing jokes on him. You weren't boring. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so the prank was real. That was, that was live. All right. Favorite time to wake up. So my favorite time to wake up is, you know, in the mid morning, uh, obviously I have to get up super early for nursing. So on the days that I'm off, I like to get up a little bit later in the morning. What's your favorite time to wake up? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Definitely not 0530. I was about up. to say 0530. <laughs> 0530 to wake up for first formation and PT call. <laughs> for a six and a half mile run <laughs> out in the woods um I, like on my days like it, then i'm off it depends mm -hmm. like on the weekend it could be anywhere from like 9 a.m to like 12 p.m <laughs> like i could knock out some sleep but i think um i think my ideal time to wake up is like 7 30 because I like freak out if I miss my morning. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can get so much done if I wake up at a decent time. He really does freak out. Mm-hmm. I, 
I was kind of even kind of panicking when I woke up at 8 this morning. Yeah, he was. He's like, babe, babe, get up. I'm like, calm down. It's super early, dude. <laughs> All right. So, your idea, I guess, favorite idea of a date. Me, um, I'm more of like a, believe it or not, I'm actually pretty shy in person, if you meet me in person. Um, so, my idea of the perfect date is definitely like just the two of us. Somewhere romantic, kind of like what we're doing right now. You know, like, I love like little getaways and type things like that. And I know people are probably like, girl, that's not a date. That's a full on <laughs> vacation. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I just love the idea of intimate things um, where there's two people and you can just focus on each other. And mm -hmm. whether you're eating or watching a movie or whatever. But yeah, I actually prefer eating over watching a movie because I feel like it's easy to get lost in the movie. But if you're eating, then it becomes awkward if you're not speaking to each other. So that's true. It kind of forces you to engage. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had a problem engaging. Though. No, we never have had a problem engaging. The entire time we've been together, like we always talk about something. Fun fact: when we are apart, if Sean is allowed to have his phone, we literally will talk from sun up to sundown mm -hmm. so he always says me good morning beautiful or good morning princess um and he says i love you like mm -hmm. every single morning and that's regardless if um, like i said unless he doesn't have his phone he's at training or something but every single morning he says that to me mm -hmm. um so i love that and every night is i love you good night you know so that's just really really sweet mm -hmm. i love that about you but, um, so he does spoil me. Um, in the past, and I feel like this just kind of happens when, it, when you're not with the person you're supposed to be with, but in the past, guys have kind of been like, oh, you're high maintenance. You know, like, mm. you're, you're high maintenance, you're too much, or whatever, but Sean, like, loves it. Mm. So it's like, don't let anybody tell you. If you know, if you like finer things, you know, don't let people try to make you feel bad about it because... Yeah. There's somebody out there that's going to love you for it, yeah. for who you are. But what's your uh, favorite idea of a date, dude? My favorite idea of a, of a date, I mean, anytime I'm I'm spending it with you, like, is a date to me. He, you guys, he always says, like, the perfect things, and I swear that is not for the camera. Like, he's just like that all the time. <sighs> this, is, this is true. Somebody commented on one of our videos and said... That it seems like we, um, you know, it's too perfect. It, it seems like we plan what we're going to do and what we're going to say. And I was like, no, mm -hmm. this is us. We plan sassafras. You weren't expecting me to say that. <laughs> this yeah, is just, but here you are. This is just how we are. I, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, sometimes myself, I can't believe it. Like, I have to pinch myself. I'm like, is this yeah. real? The truth about the muffin for my prank video. <laughs> Sean and I didn't realize the muffin was sitting there. I know uh, somebody was like, is that a muffin? <laughs> and then everybody was just like kind of interested. I did not realize the muffin was there until you guys realized the muffin was there. And what happened was we were leaving the resort and we always get, like we told you, we always get pastries for the patio. We had our pastries and we had one left over and I guess I just set it back there on the back seat for whatever <laughs> reason, so. I should have buckled it up and given it a name. <laughs> so that's what happened to the muffin. Yeah. Um, okay. So, and speaking about kids, what do you, what would you like first? A boy or a girl? I don't care as long as it's healthy. Mm-hmm. No. Of course. <clears throat> but if you, if you got the chance to choose and like either one would be healthy. I feel like the boy should be first. Big brother. And like, yeah, um... And, and the reason to do that is because I want my son to be like the old and mature one and if we have like daughters later on, he's going to take care of them, you know? Mm -hmm. He's got like look out for them, mm -hmm. you know, look up to big brother. Mm -hmm. And big sisters can be looked up to. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, that's my I'm brothers. A big sister. Yeah, see? <laughs> so. Favorite date we've ever done? We're on it. This is your favorite date? Every date. Every date is your favorite? You don't have one that really stood out? Um... 
I don't think you can consider the wedding day a date. Favorites. I love all of our dates too. My favorites are when you take me somewhere that has a nice spa. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorites. So complete the sentence. Okay. My wife is... Super hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'll have to complete the sentence for you. Do you get like little prompts? Well, you just say... Oh, okay, whatever comes to mind. Uh, my husband is... Amazing. Amazing. I'll take it. Okay. So, if you could change anything about me, what would it be? Nothing. You wouldn't change anything? Nope. You wouldn't make me wake up a little bit earlier? Nope. But you like when I wake up earlier. Yeah, well, I can make you wake up earlier just being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do when you do that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I fell in love with you, not somebody else, so. Come on. I wouldn't change anything. He's good, right? How would you describe our first kiss? Our first kiss was really hot. Mm -hmm. You walked me to my front door and gave me a kiss. Like an expert, of course. <laughs> Such a gentleman. Sean always, he doesn't just blow for me when we were dating. He would come and wait for me. I liked that a lot. Like legitimately picking me up. Something that we've always done that I realized just like the good morning and the good night you always open my door for me mm -hmm. you've been doing that for seven years yeah wow. I don't open doors period when I'm with my husband yeah if she opens her own door I make her get back in and, <laughs> and I shut the door and give her this really mean look and I'm like he does. open it and I'm like what did we learn? <laughs> he does. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't give her too many of a leak. There's a question. Why do you think you were attracted to me? So <clears> I guess <throat> I'll answer for you and then you can answer. So I was attracted to you because of how kind you were, to be honest, at first. Mm -hmm. We started out as friends and I was just like, this guy is really nice. You know? And then we kept talking and... He kind of slid in there, you know? Slid in the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Pretty much, because he went and added me on Facebook. And yeah, it was actually. So, he was like... And then, like, we'd always be, like, talking about how we hadn't found the one yet. And you sent, you sent me, like, that Michael Bublé song. Well, yeah, he was talking... Because remember, we used to... My sister and I were, like... Him and his friend, we were trying to help them out. Like, basically, we we're trying to help them get nice girls. Mm -hmm. And so... Little did they know, we were just trying to re recon and get... I know. ...information on y'all. So, we were doing that, and uh, I was just telling him one day, I was like, you know, you're going to find the perfect girl when the time's right. Just being a good friend to him. And then I sent him a Michael Bublé song um, that I love. Haven't met you yet. Oh, my gosh. So, I sent him that. That was our song for a while. Yeah. And then Ed Sheeran came along. Mm -hmm. Dude's like running the game when it comes to our songs. We love everything Ed Sheeran. Our wedding song, his song before that. Yeah, dude's talented. Yeah, I really love Ed Sheeran. You love him? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Why do you think you were attracted to me? Uh, you're really hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, we actually could hold a conversation. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's pretty attractive. Yeah. You know, and I don't feel like you ever like faked or held back too much. No. Cause like, I don't know. There's just you're mature. I like that a lot. And you know, you didn't. You didn't like do that whole entire like just play with your salad and act all stupid or shy or whatever. Oh y'all, no, I was eating. You took me on a date and I ate. Yeah, oh like, alright, I can work with that. 
Hey. I'm kidding. I mean, that's not really a, a good sound reason. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, we could talk about anything. Mm -hmm. And I never felt like, okay, I got like super nervous around you. Yeah. Like super giddy because I used to be kind of a shy dude. Mm -hmm. But like in those years, I was like coming out of a shell from high school. Uh -huh. But like you always made me feel comfortable. Oh, babe. So, yeah. So <coughs> the day you came over, the night you asked me out, like what? October 18th, 2011. He's good. Yes, that night. Like, what made you decide to make it official at that point? Well, I had the rose, mm -hmm. I had the movie, mm -hmm. and I think I had a pretty nice jacket on too. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, I, I think I'm presentable enough to make this official. <laughs> okay. Um, what made you say yes? What made me say yes? After all of that. Well, because I had been getting to know you the entire time as your friend and just listening to some of the things you were saying, some of the ways you reacted, some of your thoughts and opinions on stuff, I was just like, well, may as well give it a try. I mean, worse the worse, it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. But, and I don't know, there was just something about like showing up at my door with a single rose. It was multicolored too. That was multicolored with like pinks and yellows and asking me out. That was like so romantic. And I'm a sucker for romance. I'm like such a hopeless romantic. So I was just like, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How's that, how are those apples? They're really good. You want some? Let me try some. Okay. And. Um. Okay. Top three. Um, top three memories. Top three memories. Back to our wedding day, I just think of us standing there under the gazebo with the ocean out there, and like your your face while you're looking at me, mm -hmm. and you're all decked out in uniform, and I'm just like, this is my husband. Mm -hmm. So that's my top one. My next one, when we got engaged, just thinking about when you got down on your knee and John Legend was playing. It was just super romantic. Mm -hmm. And then when you asked me out, that rose when you asked me out. Like, I'm just like. <laughs> 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 so if we were stranded on an island and you would guess one thing I brought, what would it be? Makeup. Makeup. <laughs> I brought my makeup. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what about what about you? Well, no, you had to guess what. If you were stranded on an island, I know what you would bring. What? A coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> A coffee I, maker. I would be making some sea salt coffee. <laughs> Darn it. The <laughs> first thing be that you do if you all of a sudden like won fifty thousand dollars. Hmm. First thing I'd do is probably be like, babe, how are we spending this? We would probably save it. Yeah, save yeah. it. Yeah. What is it? What is all you want for Christmas? You. Yeah, cue music. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all I really want for Christmas is you. Sing it. All I want for Christmas is you. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.